hundred percent is to create employment for our young people so that they have work to do. So as our kipinga, na kuwa kwa konsisi wenye kumeja vijana wana kazi, tunada kuwatafuti ya kazi na vijana akuda mtu na ambia watakatu wa chochote tapa dawa hana mshahara. So we are even telling you anaji yao ya kawaida. Don't bother about you watu na pia kenele. Wea akuda mtu na kukata pesa wa sawa huna kazi. Si kutapata kazi di utakatu wa sawa huna pia kenele wakati yo. But for now, si wacha tukutafuti ya kazi upata kukatwa. Sindio? Yeah. It is the leaders who don't want to pay. Na razima hii watu walipe hii watu yote wako na suti yako wa makaba. Kawira you must pay. Lazima. Kaduri. Lazima. Hata mimi niko pale. Hii vijana yote watatowa kazi wapi kama hatu tegenezi fund ya kuwasaidia. But I can tell you this incitement will come to an end. When we successfully pass a bill and it is enacted and implemented. Awa mahazo na yaone ya kuna mtu wako na shuguri na awa. Watawajana na hiyo manema. So these people will be talking to trees. Lakini wenye kusumbua ni wale ambaye hawana any obligation to anybody. Because hii watu ya azimio, hakuna mtu na uliza hao chochote. Labda wajuku yao, and that one they can afford from their allowances. But kwa raya, they have no obligation to anybody. Finally, let me confirm to the media and the Kenyan people. that the greatness of a leader is the ability to make hard decisions. This economy of Kenya where we found it, and I said in Kasarani, we found a dilapidated economy with empty coffers. For us to turn around this economy and restore it where Mwai Kebaki left us, President William Ruto and all of us who work under him must make hard decisions. The decisions may be a little painful in the beginning, but along the way they will be rewarding. And I want to confirm, this little noise and discomfort is okay for us. But I want to say that in another two years, the people of Kenya will know that President William Ruto and his government were right. And we are not scared we are not intimidated because we are in leadership to make hard decisions for the benefit of the country. We are also not cowards. Sisi si watu ya kushitishwa kidogo na kushituliwa ni meona ati demands, ati ya mepeana demands. Rawa wana peana demands uhiwa nani? Wewe mechaguliwa na nani? Wewe ni nani kwa Kenya? Si ungoje 2027 you come and persuade these people to give you an opportunity. Wewe ulikuwa kwa serikali ya Uru Kenyata, ulikuwa advisor, ungechangia hiyo maneno nasema. You did nothing. You, later, you left us a country that is torn apart. You destroyed the Jubilee agenda completely. You stopped housing, you stopped universal health care. You took us into useless ventures like BBI. You had the opportunity to do those things you are saying. Can you sit back and watch how governance is done? And then along the way, utasema mamba yako. So, niambia hao watu ya upizani mpige kelele. Sisi, we are focused. We have a manifesto. We have a plan. We have an arrangement with the people of Kenya. Kama hao watu ya upizani, munge kuja hapa kwa kahawa, mutu wambia hiru tatageneza kahawa. Sasa, hata mukifaa sufuria kwa kichwa, how will it sort out the issues in this country? How? And I want to thank the people of this region who have given you the word. And I want to thank you for your support. I want to thank you for your support. I want to thank you for your support.